Hi everyone, I'm Melissa from The Designery. I'm gonna show you my new home in Byron Bay. Come inside. I'm so excited to show you. Hi. Thank you very much for having me. Come in, welcome. So what was the inspiration for this home? So this was always going to be my home. Yes. And so it's full of all of my stuff, which is really great. It's, it's great to finally do a home that's got all of, you know, the essence you. of you and yeah. things that you've collected over your life. It was really just a series of me working through, you know, what was the palette that I wanted and then extending off that and finding beautiful little pieces like the gorgeous kitchen bench and I can't take my eyes off it. Can we have a look in more detail? So tell me the story about this bench. So this, this was a beautiful bench and we were, gosh, I think we were not even, you know, we hadn't even gotten out of plans yet. And we were still working out floor plans and space really? planning. And I decided that I'd seen one of these with a local supplier and I contacted him and said, I want one that's really, really oversized. Have you got anything? And he was going to France. And so he basically sourced this for me in France and it was so big, it's four and a half meters long. That's incredible. So I actually had to adjust the plans and re-jig everything so that it could work. So, so your kitchen actually changed to? To accommodate the bench. That's yeah. great. Yeah, I know, <laughs> I but how, and how amazing is it? It's like, it's become the sort of central feature in the whole house. And it really does. I mean, you could have just had an island. You could have continued what's happening here. Yeah, but it brings totally. so much more personality. And you just yeah. can't help but touch it. I know, I know. It's... And everyone worries about, oh, you know, what about when you use it and you're going to mark it? And I'm like, that's the whole point. Oh, no. I was going to say, like, that's great. Like, it's yeah. already worn over time. And you like, kind that's of want the red wine stain <laughs> and the chopping something. It's and... a good memory yeah. of a good night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And how did you actually start? Like what was, you said you wanted a cocoon, yeah. but what was your, what was your priority in your home? Like what were the key areas you really wanted to nail? I think one of the things for me, well, there's a couple of things and, and it's probably consistent across any project that I do. One is that indoor outdoor connection. I think in the Australian environment, we, that's how we live. And it really doesn't matter which end of the country, whether you're in Tasmania in the de you know, death yeah. of winter or you're in Queensland, we all want to open our homes up. Um, so that and the orientation was really important to me when we were actually designing the house. And then I think more than that, you know, I've got a, a, a family with young children and adult children and it, the way that you use spaces changes over time as a family. So for me, it was just about multi-function spaces, having everything flow, big areas to come together, communal living, you know, all that sort of connectedness. Like that was, for me, what would make it feel, you know, like it's wrapping its like arms it's around you. Yeah. And speaking of that, because you've actually got two living spaces. Yes. This one here, obviously, I love this detail, first of all, with the fireplace. Yes. Cozy. Like, very cozy. Yeah. But you have actually done a bit of trickery at the front. So what was your thinking about this? <laughs> I love this? that word. <laughs> <laughs> what was your thinking about this room? Because this would have been what most people might have turned it into a garage, would you have said? Yeah, so, you know, from a compliance perspective, we had to have a double garage. Yep. So basically we set about, and I've done this a couple of times with these houses up in Byron, it's a really great opportunity to put your garage at the front, you know, have it entering off the street, but connect it to the actual yard and to the house yep. so that you can have double use. You could easily close this door. Yeah, and, and these all open up. And this could be, yes, and this all opens up, but this could easily house your cars or your boat or storage or whatever you need it to be. Exactly. Or it opens up and it becomes this beautiful rumpus room space. This guy's cool. This guy's really cool. <laughs> Where is he from? He's, he's from Clay Life. They've been bringing in Waitland's furniture, which is just so gorgeous. This is the snug chair. There is, and it's there very is a big snug. tag here. It's just saying, I am fake. He's so the, everybody don't worry. He's not real. No polar bears no. were harmed in the, <laughs> in the manufacturing of the chair. <laughs> no. It is completely <laughs> safe. But again, these pieces, so is this, you already had this? 
I did. In storage. I, this was in my storage, and this was actually my dining table about ten years ago, and so we cut him down to turn him into a coffee table. Did you? Yeah. Ah. Oh. I love that yeah. actually. But sometimes it's about repurposing things, isn't it? Like, you know, oh, Melissa, we're in such yes. a disposable world now and everything's easy and cheap to get something new. Mm. But for me, what creates a home are all of the memories that come with you in your things. I'm a bit attached to stuff. <laughs> but, you know, like this guy's got story, it's got history, and I love him. I think that's beautiful, and I think it is about, it's not bad to be attached to, <laughs> to things, and the fact that you're repurposing, it, it becomes more sustainable. Everything yeah. just becomes more sustainable, and oh. then there is story there that everyone can pass on. Yeah. You know, that's special. And I think it does, like, I, I think there's a real tendency now in design, people see beautiful pictures on social media or they're flicking the pages of the magazine and, mm. and they want to recreate that. But the reality is that feeling of home and that essence of home is really only created through the history and through the story. Couldn't agree yeah. more. I said to you my first impression, you know, it was just, it feels like home. It feels like you're yeah. part of it. And you can't create that with all new things. Nope. <laughs> if it's brand new, you know, there is that kind of sterile nature to it. There if is, you don't yeah. actually bring in your own personality, Absolutely. then it's yeah. not really your home. No. It's not living yet. No. There's no energy. No, I love that. It's not living yet. Yeah, exactly. You've got to talk me through this kitchen though, because I love this kitchen so, so much. So obviously table inspired. Yes. The layout, the, the design, the beginning. yes, and then where to from there? Well, I think I mean that in itself was an interesting thing because normally in a kitchen you know, you've got your golden triangle and things like that, and obviously we don't necessarily have that here. So it was really, and you were designing almost a galley kitchen. So there was some some thought that had to go into how you actually would function in here and how you actually would live. And I always approach, even if it's a client project, I approach it from the perspective of. How would I cook? How do I want to use the kitchen? You know, when I'm when I'm standing at the sink, I want both of my dish drawers either side. When I, you know, my bin's right here, so we're ready to prep. And it's very, very function based for me. Let me just pause you there. <laughs> that, this is extra, and I love this. So you do have that double dishwasher. Yeah. It is a very functional kitchen. Yeah, it really is. It is. It's designed to be able to house a family or two. You know, and 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 big gatherings. Like you want to have you know, big piles of food on this bench and on the big table and going outside. And, and you want to be able to do that quite seamlessly and easily. Yeah. And, and I mean, the double dish drawers, I mean, who doesn't love that? Like you load oh, no. one that's on, then you load the next one that's on. It's just, it's great. You strike me as an entertainer. Is yeah. that right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this is what you need for parties you and do. dinner parties. You do, for big dinner parties, absolutely. The name of the house is Sakata, which means sand in Sanskrit. So that was one of the original points in terms of the color palette was the, those beautiful sandy tones. And when you look at the beach, it's not white. It's not white and no. blue. It's, you know, those beautiful sandy, you know, grays, torps, mockers, you know, heading into charcoals. It is, that is the coastline. So that coastline has inspired the tile choices. Like I was noticing there with that beautiful texture with the fireplace yeah. as well. So is that literally where you kind of went to? You were sourcing and finding inspiration from Yeah, and, and really, and coming back to that coastline that, you know, and, and it is like, you look at this room, it's the perfect example. It's got timber, it's got stone. It's, there's more, yeah. This is the comfiest rug of all time. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, it was quite the sensation jumping you, it on It makes this. you want to lie on it. It really does. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It is, it's plush. Yeah, the textures and the tones, it's just, it's very welcoming. Yeah. And I do, I'm a big sucker for just more seating wherever yes, you can. So I this know. sort of acts as that, doesn't it? It does. A bit of a flow on. Yeah, it does. And we actually braced it because I had this whole vision of what if you had a party in this house and people were standing on their feet. Oh my god, you're like, so, okay, so if we're making wine mugs on the table, we're probably going to end up here later in the night, so I probably do need some reinforcement. Yeah. I like where your mind's going. <laughs> Future proofing. What's actually hiding behind here as well? We've got yeah, more? So that's some. Um, that was an interesting thing because that happened in the middle of COVID because, of course, we were building this in the middle of COVID. Oh, and Well um, done for finishing. Yeah, well, well done to you also. <laughs> it was a feat. But we ended up obviously realizing that we needed a home office. Of course. Yeah. And so, you know, 
gone are the days of everybody leaving the home to go to the office. And so we ended up rejigging the layout. So I can't even remember, I think what was the bathroom, the it was a bigger bathroom. Oh, right. Um, and we actually had planned this beautiful bath over there in the corner in the oh. light and would have been, you know, this magical, you know, space to come. But we ended up converting it to an office. I think, I mean, there's plenty of magic. It, it, it still doesn't hurt to have a bit of functionality. <laughs> like this. Oh, and you actually do have this. Oh, yeah. oh that's a nice touch. So it actually is private. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>
I did, so it was really hard. And, and even when we were painting it the fourth time, I was convinced it wasn't gonna be right. What did you start with? So we started the color that's down in the powder room, which is chinchilla. Oh, right. Um, did that look too, that. like, pinky? Too pinky. Or? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. That's the battle. That's the battle. That's the journey, right? You've got to be willing to make change. Right. Yeah, exactly. <gasps> oh, oh, it's so beautiful in here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's <gasps> special. I mean... Are you going in? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I am. If this is like next level. This is beautiful. I love everything about it. I love the time. Like, I love how perfectly imperfect they are. Oh, I love that you said that. So when, we, when we've been talking about the house, we've been talking about Wabi Sabi. Yes. And that perfectly imperfect. So that was part of your inspiration to yeah, really try. Yeah, it is. It's that, it's that notion that, you know, sometimes we, we think we have to have everything so perfect and lined up and matching and, you know, but actually there's beauty in imperfection. So this is just another little breakout space. Is this the same tile that we saw downstairs yes. in the fireplace? Yes, it is. So we've used this on all of the outdoor areas. It you know, can go indoor or outdoor. So we've used this on all the balconies. Is this another dining table that got chopped down? It's not, it's not. It could, <laughs> it could have been. Just checking. <laughs> but these were, these were great um, old pieces that we already had. Had them for years. You can see they've already, you know, they're marked and stained. But there's, there's just something about the history of that. This is a good spot. Yeah. I can, yeah. It's a great afternoon chill spot. Absolutely. Oh, so this, this is the, this is the yes. main bathroom. I mean, so I thought I was in love with the other bathroom, but this then takes it to another level. Can you, hang on, have you, is this you? Have yes. you gone in here and done a little something yeah. something? So we, so basically this piece and this piece were some beautiful vintage pieces out of India. We got them from one of my favorite suppliers, Water Tiger in Sydney. And she saw seeds, she knew what we were trying to do. So we found yep. two pieces that were similar length. Um, and that's just been recessed back into the wall as oh, a little shaving cabinet. So that's super. Oh, love that. Yeah, and we put some mirror on the front. You can see in the back, we just had little windows. You're just a cute. regular handy woman, aren't you? Yeah, if I was doing it myself, <laughs> we would call me that. But no, I love that. I'm an ideas girl, not a handy woman. <laughs> <laughs> and this is this is stunning. We we worked with a paiser for all of the basins and the bath, wow. and it's even just the you know the organic shape and the beautiful. They're so tactile. Their products. I love the it. The eggshell, I mean, yeah. oh my gosh. Have you, have you? Oh my God, gone in? I mean, I better. <laughs> <laughs> At least I don't have my shoes on. Something Next like level. <laughs> and thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you next week. <laughs> very, very fun. Little fun. Room. And again, is this you? <laughs> this is you. <laughs> yes. At the last we like, you were like, no, <laughs> it's not, not enough. Just... It's not good enough. It's not right. <laughs> I love that though. So simple. It is so simple, isn't it? And and we, you know, raced off to Bunnings, got a couple of different sized ropes, you? played with it, found the right one. Yeah. See, just pop down to Bunnings. It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't actually have to be no, so extra. It Something doesn't. as simple as that yeah. can just bring and that was really, Ladder you know, life. informed by the size on the floor as well. It sort of, you know, it, made, it was an easy reference between the two. Talk to me about the floor, because this is really interesting. I like the detail. Yeah. Have you done this treatment before? So I've done it once before. Um, it was on another one of my family homes and I loved it. Yeah. Um, I'm not a huge carpet girl, so yeah. um, I tend to, I mean, although, if, let's, let's face it, 99% of people love carpet. So. <laughs> I also love carpet for clients, but for me, I usually do a hardwood floor and rugs. Yeah. And I came up with this idea, I don't, I'm sure I saw it somewhere, we're always just inspired by things, aren't we? Um, but it's basically an inset, so we've just literally put an edging around the timber flooring as it was yeah. laid, and then laid the sisal into that. So it looks like a rug, but it also acts like a carpet. So these, these are basically designed for my two girls. So yes. I've got two adult, late teens adult girls, and I wanted them to have a space to come up. 
they live in Sydney, so I wanted them to have somewhere to come that they loved and felt beautiful and and was sort of representative of them. So Absolutely. yeah, created one. So for how each. would you describe this personality then? So Bella loves pink. She's a pink girl. I noticed uh, we were getting warm yes. with the colour tone. That's a nice a pink undertone in the paint. So it's still, you know, I still wanted it to be sophisticated and, and you know, representative of them being older. Yeah. So it's more the dusty pinks and greys and beautiful dry artwork. Isn't it? And yeah. did she give the ticket of approval? She did. She okay. loves it. <laughs> Here we've gone green. This one has got more green and grey. Ah, yeah, I love, I look, I'm a sucker for green. Yeah. And this one was inspired by the artwork as well. So these two pieces are from gorgeous artist Caitlin Riley and she's got a gallery up in Bangalore. And this is what you were talking about before, I found. Yeah, so this was when you were what, on holiday in Indonesia? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. yeah. That's incredible. I mean, they're so whimsical. Aren't they? They add so much theatre. They do, and they're so easy to add because I think without that, it's almost just a room with a bed. Yes. Whereas that's got that element of whimsy, and I think that's important. It's the it magic. Creates a moment, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah.